Hey dudes, how you doing? It's Saint. Welcome. I've, I've got some news for you guys regarding Sony Japan. Here's the scoop. Sony Japan Studio Restructure leads to mass exodus of developers. Japan Studios Restructure is leading to a mass exit. This doesn't seem like a smart move considering the enormous amount of focus that this gaming generation has had on exclusives and first party developers, but let's let's just move on so this ign article says that sony japan studios restructure has led to a mass exodus of developers behind key playstation titles like demon souls on ps5 gravity rush and bloodborne the last guardian and more in february sony had said that they were planning a reorganization of the studio so that it could be surrounding team asobi which is the team in charge of astro's playroom First party development elsewhere in the studio will likely cease or be scaled back and other departments such as localization, external production, and IP management will shift to PlayStation Studios. Now ever since this news came out, we've seen a lot of key players over at Sony Japan leave the studio and announce that they're going on with different projects and they're leaving after many years. In the case of Demon Souls PS5 director Gavin Moore, he said he's leaving Sony after 24 years. This is what Moore's tweet said. After 24 years at Sony and 18 of those in Japan, yesterday was my last day at Japan Studio. I will miss the great creative spirit and camaraderie of the studio that was a huge part of my life. Time to seek out new and exciting opportunities. Now, Moore is not the only big name that is departing from Japan studio. Former executive producer Yasutaka Asakura, who has credits on Gravity Rush, Bloodborne, and Shadows of the Colossus, also left. Brendan Pritchard, who served as Global Relations on The Last Guardian, also announced their departure, as well as Gravity Rush character designer Shunsuke Saito and senior producer Kentaro Motomura. Shunsuke's tweet was very simple, it was just... I'm leaving SIE Japan Studio today. And this just a sad little gravity rush picture there. Other creators actually left earlier. Silent Hill director Keishiro Toyama. Sorry if I completely butchered their name. Along with Gravity Rush designer Junya Okura and The Last Guardian lead designer Kasunobu Sato all left Japan Studio in December to form Bokeh Game Studio. These developers are already working on their first game, which is a psychological horror title. This is kind of worrying. <laughs> Let's take into account. Let's face it, Sony is now not a tech brand anymore. Sony is cameras and PlayStation. That That's all they have going for them at this point. It's worrying for those of you who are really interested in these PlayStation exclusives and stuff like that. See that they are really stepping back from that kind of niche crowd. And I don't even believe Silent Hill is a niche crowd. I don't believe that Demon's Souls is a niche crowd, nor do I believe Bloodborne is a niche crowd. However, they're clearly taking attention away from that and I would believe that they're focusing more on the easier to digest games. And I would assume that would be something like Spider-Man. I would assume that they would want to put more focus on their Astro's Playroom because since it's all Sony, it gets them more money. This is a stupid thing to do. It really is. It's super dumb. And the reason why I'm saying this is because people don't buy a PlayStation for Astro's Playroom. I would assume that they're trying to create like this kind of competition to what Mario is. You know, make their little Astro whatever that no one honestly cares about. Like, it was fun on the PS5, and I know there, there's a lot of people that enjoy it, but people don't go to PlayStation to play Astro's Playroom. And it'll piss a lot of people off that they're taking attention off of some of the more ambitious or some of the more wanted titles to simply fit this little project that they have going on, on the side so that they can get more money off you. This is what's going on with Sony. Honestly, what I'm seeing is them becoming more and more greedy and just straying further and further away from what the player actually wants. Instead of sticking to their strengths and instead of listening to the people that are giving them their hard-earned cash, they're just making decisions that help no one other than themselves. Sony's showing their true colors. 
I'm not surprised, just like I wasn't surprised about the report that, by the way, ended up being quite true, and a lot of people that had digital versions of games for PS3, PSP, and PS Vita were screwed, and they didn't care, they just, boop, they're gonna shut it down, it's official now, they're gonna shut it down, and there's no way you can preserve your games other than hacking your console, and basically using an emulator. Not surprising, again, another bit of news that is not surprising at all, trying to make a competition that honestly nobody cares about, and people have told them, yeah, Astro's Playroom is cool, but I don't think anyone would change Astro's Playroom for Bloodborne or Demon Souls at this point. It's my opinion. Honestly, like, you can think differently than me, and it's fine. If you like PlayStation, that's fine, but you cannot tell me that Sony is not being a greedy f right now, because they're just clearly completely dismissing all of their players let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below leave a like subscribe hit that notification bell i upload videos every single week about tech or gaming remember to follow me on instagram twitter and twitch at saying woven as well as join the pack on discord thank you for watching my dudes and i hope you have a good one Bye bye